All right, so I am excited to be here on Monday. I was asked by staff, she's got a little bit going on right now, so she asked if I would host it. And so we have these other powerhouses on and I'm super excited to be sharing this Zoom with all these other ladies and you guys are gonna be wanting to get a notebook and take notes and um, it's gonna be packed full of stuff. So I'm Tashina again, I'm a triple diamond. I've been here for seven years. It's crazy, it's went so fast. Um, my daughter actually, she's 18 now, she just promoted to Ruby. Um, never in a million years that I think seven years ago that now I would be sharing this with my daughter and it would be helping her as well. So I'm super pumped about all of you and where it's going to be and what it does for you the next seven years and further. So, um, what I'm gonna do is talk to you a little bit about my schedule. So obviously seven years ago, I worked a lot. I had three jobs when I first started. So I can relate to all of you guys who do this on the side um, and just try to get it in. So that was my life. I worked seven or three different jobs since I was about 14 years old. And so I was always a worker and this past year I decided to go all in. Um, finally, I should have done it sooner, but I decided to go all in with this. And then it was another shift in what my schedule looked like because I wasn't used to being able to just run this. And it probably took me two or three months to kind of get into the groove of everything and um, kind of get used to managing a different type of schedule. So my schedule is very regimented. It's the same exact thing every day, just like I was going to go to work. I get up, I do my devotions. I take about the first hour and a half to myself. Um, I don't really look at my phone. I get my kids off to school. And then I went, I set my alarm for the morning power hour. That's like my meeting. I don't miss a morning. Um, well, except for last week because I was on vacation, but I don't miss a morning typically. And I look forward to it every day. Just like if I was going to go to work, I would have to be there by seven o'clock every day. So I do this. I have to be on that meeting at eight o'clock every morning. And that's just like my check-in point, kind of like I'm punching a time clock. So I, I keep it very rigid. And then I have um, some non-negotiables that I do every single day. And I have to do this right away in the morning, you guys, because I am kind of a blue personality. So if all of a sudden something comes up and they're like, hey, you wanna go to lunch? Or hey, do you wanna do this? I'm like, yeah, sign me up. Um, so I have to get all my morning stuff done. So that way, if I have an invitation, I can say yes without feeling guilty about it later in the afternoon. So I know that I have to be consistent because of my ADD personality. So um, so those are some of the things that I do um, just to keep consistent. Consistency is so key, you guys. Like that's where I was lacking when I first retired. I didn't have a consistent schedule. I just thought I had all this time in the world and I could get it done. And in reality, I was all over the place. I didn't keep a tracker. Um, now I keep a notebook, I just a, a spiral bound notebook it's nothing amazing um, and everything is in there so i put all my tasks every day i tally them as i get them done and i have a certain amount that i like to achieve every single day so those tasks include post a post i like to get at least 10 posted a day um it is messaging i some people call it cold messaging but honestly if they're a friend of mine on facebook and they haven't deleted me off of facebook it's not a cold message, they're a friend of mine. So I message 30 people in each of these categories. One is a non at works post. So I just want them to have a great day or I'm telling them I'm thinking about them and they're wonderfully made. Um, you can actually Google search messages to send to strangers and there's a ton of them in there. I know it sounds silly, but there's a ton of them in there. And I just copy and paste in my boards app, different messages. So that way, even if I'm sending them a message again, I can send them a different thinking of you message. So I do that, those 30 messages, I do 30 um, product tester messages. I do 30 
opportunity messages, and then I do 30 green light messages. I love green light messaging because you know people are on. So you know that they're not just somebody that's been a friend of yours and it's, they never get on Facebook or Instagram. So if it's Instagram, I get on stories and I do 30 comments or messages through people's stories because you know that they post consistently. So those are my non-negotiables. That is basically what I do throughout the day. And I don't want to spend too much time on myself. I'm super excited. Um, I'm going to introduce Nicole next. She's a diamond. She actually, um, she went viral on TikTok, you guys. She's been super consistent with TikTok. She went viral on TikTok. She got, now is getting paid um, <laughs> through TikTok, which is crazy. And I'm going to have let her share. Nicole, can you unmute yourself? Yep. Can you hear me? Yes, I sure can. Well, welcome to tonight. First, I want you to introduce yourself, Nicole. Um, tell them how long you've been in, what your rank is, and, yes. and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm Nicole. I'm a diamond leader, hungry for double, but I've got some work to do. Um, last month was my two year anniversary. That's my second time in the business. Um, so like I said, I'm just hungry for more. I'm having so much fun enjoying the process. And yes, it is a process. Um, but I'm so excited that um, Steph asked me to talk about TikTok because I'm in the middle of seeing what it's all about right now. And so I feel like we've had so many of these training videos and top leaders talk about all the benefits and the funnel of like everything that it can do. And because I really only had one video that went viral, it's like I can see that exact cycle happen almost like it's happening in slow motion because I just see it with such clarity because I know exactly where everyone's coming from, if that makes sense. So yeah. I'm excited to talk a little bit more about this with you guys. Yeah, so I'm so excited for you. I want to know, we all want to know the nitty gritty, right? So you've been doing TikTok for a little while now. Um, how consistent are you with it? Do you post every day and do you post once a day or multiple times throughout your day? I try to do, when I'm on a roll, my goal is to do at least one per day. And I do want to give the disclaimer that if you guys all go to my page right now, don't judge me because I kind of freaked out at getting 5 million views and so many followers. A lot of them are men that I would not necessarily choose to have following me. Like just, well, I'll, I can talk more about that later, but I kind of freaked out and went through and deleted a lot of my <laughs> most recent content. And I'm going to kind of um, redo a few of them, but it's been just so much fun. And I've learned um, some actually really like valuable insight into how it works. So do you, do you want me to just kind of get into it? Yeah. So if you want to share like your content, so I know you do some like fun, typical TikTok videos, but then you intermingle business in there, whether it be opportunity or product or whatever. So if you can share maybe what if you have a system for that. So is there like, okay, I did a fun one today and now the next day I'm gonna do something or how how are you handling the mix, like the blending? So my goal is I like to do like, do it in batches. So I'll have like a content day. And that way I have a ton of them just saved to my drafts. So when I'm in the moment and I wanna post something, I'm not scrambling trying to figure out what to do, how to do it, get it done. You know what I mean? Like when, you, when you're ready to post something, you want to just be able to roll it out. So there are two ways that I do this. The first one is anytime I'm feeling like confident, I'm in a great mood, the sun is shining, like I've a good hair day, I got my lashes on, whatever. I will go on and I'll find a few great sounds and I'll just like point at the air, save to drafts. And you can do 60 of those and like, five minutes because you're just pointing at nothing. And then later on you can go in and you can add text, but it's on the days where you're sitting there, you look like a homeless person, it's dim, it's gloomy, you're in a bad mood, but you wanna post something that you're gonna be so happy that you had those comments or content. Um, now that being said, the imperfect videos are the ones that tend to blow up because TikTok wants just like real authentic 
people. Um, and so it's just cool both ways. But then the other thing is when I'm kind of in my content mode, I go through and I'll make three to four videos and then I'll add lipstick, change my shirt, make three or four more. I'll change my shirt again, change my lipstick, curl my hair, do something different, make three or four more, go outside, like sit in the car and put a jacket on, do three or four more. And I'm always doing in each sort of set, I try to do a product post, a funny lip syncing one, and then a business one. So on your content days, you do multiple videos. How long do you think you spend making content videos? Because I know some of like for me who isn't great at TikTok, I'm like, holy cow, that would take me all day. So, and I don't have all day. So, and I don't even work outside of this. So how long would you say that it takes you to make a bundle of content videos? I, it takes a couple hours. Okay. It does. And you get, once you get the hang of it, you fly through it a lot faster. Um, but I've also found a way to sort of streamline like the process of figuring out what videos I'm going to make. So if you go into your settings on TikTok, um, change your privacy settings. So where it says, who can view your liked videos, set that to only me. That way, when you like someone's video, the world can't see it, it's only you. And so then I, I'm not very good <laughs> at setting a timer. I still time travel when I open TikTok, even if I say I'm only going to be on there for five minutes, I still, I'm going to get lost in it. And so I like to, my sort of routine is I'll send my messages. I'll do my Facebook interacting and that kind of stuff on Facebook and Instagram. And then while I'm kind of waiting for people to respond to me, I'll click over to TikTok. That way I'm still in the work zone. I've got my phone in my hand. And I know it's not going to be too much time before people start responding to me. And I go through, I skip the for you page. I go through the list of people that I'm following, which are all people in this business. And I like the videos that I think I can easily recreate. So if it's a short video, if it's a simple video, if it's anything that I think I can or should quickly and without too much effort recreate, I'm liking it. That way, when I am on my content days, I've got on my pay, I, I know you're not going to be able to see it, but if you go to your home screen, the second tab is all of your liked videos. They're all just organized right there. So then I can write down the text that, you know, Taylor put on her video. I can recreate it and then type it out right there, save it to my drafts and they're all there. And then I go through and I unlike that video and it, I've made it, it's out of the list. And so it's really organized. I'm not wasting time. I'm doing it strategically. And let me just tell you, don't ever feel bad about reusing another leader or not, like a sideline sister or someone's video. Even if you recreate it exactly like what they did, it's fine because they probably recreated it from someone else too. It's the same thing as, you know, all of us posting the same cleanse post with our own selfie on it right when we get off of here. Right. So, I mean, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel or overcomplicate anything. And so that's just kind of, that's what I do. That's how I'm able to do a mix of everything. And let me tell you, after that one, I, like I drilled a hole in my fridge shelf, shelf for boxed wine. That's the one that went viral. It had nothing to do with the business or anything. I mean, I guess it is relevant to my life, but like it's totally random. But all of the videos after it were getting likes and views. I'm getting messages on Instagram, gummies, gummies, income, my influencer apps getting filled out. I can see that my milkshake link. So the fact that I had those other videos in there after that one random one went viral, they're all getting more views. And so you have to, like you said, just keep sprinkling them in. And so when you do those content days with each like outfit or hair change or whatever, try to do a couple of each. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. So I have a couple questions on here. One is, do you use hashtags? Yes. So when I first started, um, sorry, my husband, I kicked them out to the yard. They're waving at me through the window. Um, when I first started TikTok, the big thing was you could type hashtag and it would show you the trending ones. That's kind of faded away now. Now you can use three to five. 
and it should be relevant either to the video that you're posting or the niche that you're trying to get into. Okay. And then so, the next question is, um, how are you finding people? Do you follow people that like your video or also go and find new people? Um, yes and no. For the most part, I follow leaders in the company um, just because that's I want to stay zoned in on stuff that I can do every once in a while I'll go to the for you page and see like there are a couple of people who are just like cute girls who are always lip syncing or doing outfit transitions or whatever and I'm like okay I might be able to learn that so like I want some of that in there as well um but for the most part I keep it pretty and then I also creep on other leaders so like you better believe I've looked at everyone that Tashina's following I've looked at everyone that Taylor's following I've looked you know what I mean like I've, everyone that Tanya follows I've looked at and so um I just kind of I'm not afraid to creep on people like that and I'll scroll through their feed don't go through and like every video that someone posts very quickly because that like hurts their algorithm but yeah, just follow leaders within the company. I mean, anyone that you see on a training video, go to their TikTok. Like I guarantee they've got videos. And the other thing you'll notice is all of these people are gonna have the same videos that you see that they're recreating. And so that'll just give you more confidence as well. Can you share your TikTok name with everybody, Nicole? Yeah, it is at Coley MM. At Coley MM. Yep, I can type it out. It's my same Instagram name. And I think if you search Facebook, that's my... Um, yeah, it's, I, I have heard it's really important to keep all of your names the same, especially as you get these new follow, followers who don't know you, they're going to want some consistency with that. So that way it matches each one when they go to platform, platform to platform. So mm -hmm. moving on, because we know that TikTok can be super successful, but in the meantime, you have to be doing something else um, before you build that big following on TikTok and you might be able to transition people over. So you have some really great tips on host a post and what you call a text club um, on how people are hosting posts for you. So, and how to get them to redo it. So if you want to share, if you want to actually talk about what you're doing and then after that, share your scripts on what you're sending to them, that would be fantastic. Yep, for sure. And I just, to close out on TikTok, just remember that that's your place to be blue and just have fun, like be strategic about it, but just be relatable. Um, and also keep in mind, it took me 5 million views to get 22,000 followers. And they're mostly dudes who have zero interest in anything other than if I have an OnlyFans account. Okay. So all of that to say, I mean, yes, it boosts everything. Yes. What we do is a numbers game. Yes. It's super fun, but you can't chase those numbers and expect to have a high quality audience right away. You have to build that. And so it's much better. Your focus should be on staying consistent and just having fun. So anyways, that. text club is so cool. This is something that, okay, so this is a new concept for me. I heard about it on the Diamond and Above Zoom maybe three weeks ago. So it's brand new. So with that being said, I'm going to ask you guys to sort of zoom out with me. Airplane view, 30,000 feet, looking down. We're going to blur the individual details and just lean into the concept with me. Um, but it's just really cool. And we all have to be able to pivot as we get started with something like this, but I can tell you it's worth it. So tax club is a group of people who, these are like your ride or die people who are always going to do a giveaway post for you. Okay. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to add them as phone contacts, get them out of messenger, get them as a phone contact, put them into a group in your connect app. And then you're going to send them posts once or twice a week as you want to. Okay. So just to keep this quick, I'm going to walk you through it from the first action step to get it all set up and get the ball rolling. And then we can take it from there. And then we'll do additional trainings afterwards to go into the specific details. But um, before I give the first action step, I know I'm just waiting for it to pop up. Um, in the chat, I know the first question is going to be a question that I have asked before. I think I asked Taylor on a Zoom one time. Um, I get the same people commenting every time. And 
it's the same handful of people. And what Taylor told me was, you got to grow your network. And that problem is going to get smaller and smaller as you get more and more people, which is so true. And the other thing that Chantal said on the Diamond and Above Zoom was, okay, so you post every single day. Why don't you want someone else to post every single day? Right? It's fine. If they want to, it's fine. It's great. So first thing, I'm assuming you're already doing host to post. After someone posts for me, I always send them the same message. Thank you so much. Got you entered. I hope you win. By the way, did you know that posting like that is essentially what I do to make an income for my phone? Would that be helpful for you too? So I'm still sending that, but now I'm sending another one before it. And that first message, I'm going to read it right from my boards app, and then I'm going to paste everything in here. There are only two messages. That's how simple this is, you guys. So the first one is actually, I'm going to read it right on here because I can copy and paste it for you. Okay. So the first one, after someone posts for me, thanks so much. I've got you entered. One more thing. If you want to be included in my giveaway club, just let me know. You'll get a text from me when I start a new giveaway and all of my club members also get extra entries throughout the week. If you want me to include you in that, send me your number and I can get you added before my next round. Right? So simple. So then they say, yes, they give me their phone number. Um, and I say, thanks so much. I, oh, sorry. I say, perfect. Got you added. I'll be sending the text from, and then I give them my number to save as a contact. The text you get will just be the post itself. And if you want an entry, just copy and paste the post text back done. So I can keep track of your entries. You can definitely skip entries anytime too, by not replying back, but this way you always have the option to get in right away. I'll usually send one to two posts a week. You just did the first one, so you'll get another one in a few days for an extra entry. I appreciate you. Welcome to my giveaway club. Thank you for supporting me. You're amazing. So then you add them as a contact in your phone. And I've been including notes, like in the notes section, test club, host to post giveaway, April, 2021. I don't really know why I started doing that. It just made me feel more organized at the time. And I don't know if I'll keep doing it, but I just kind of liked having that note in there. Um, so skip that step if you want, but then you go on your connect app, you create a group called text club or giveaway club or VIP notifications or whatever you want to call it. You add your contacts to that group. And then when you're ready to send the posts, you open your connect app, you type out the message just once, and it's not gonna send a group text to everyone. It's gonna confirm with each person. So you do kind of have to hit send, send, send. You can skip someone, send, 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 and you go all the way through. It'll send individual messages to everyone in your group. And then you're done and you just wait to start getting those text messages back. Done, done done, done. And the posts are going up for you. So then you follow through with your host to post system, um, get them entered into the giveaway, save to your collection, and then just respond. Okay, great. Thanks so much. You're entered. Um, so this is something that you can really run with and grow over time. You can make it work for you. You can do, um, offer additional entries just for club members. You can have them refer a friend. I, um, I, I don't know if you guys remember exactly how to make an influencer app, but I made a same Google form and I'll share that link if you want to just copy and paste from me as well. So anytime I post about the giveaway, I'm also saying, or if you want exclusive notifications, if you want to hear about it first, fill out this form. And it's really just like basically the instruction message. And then the two fields are your name and your phone number. And then, so people are filling that out as well. And like, it's just as I'm just watching my group grow and it's like host to post is about like, this is a game changer. It's, I finally feel like it's really working for me and not the other way around. It's incredible. I'm so, 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 so excited about this and everybody else is too. So if you can share um, your scripts in the chat, that would be fantastic because it's blowing up. The chat is blowing up. They want all your info. So if you can share all of those, that would be, that would be amazing. Um, and then maybe we'll get her back on here because she is like my green of all greens on my team and she knows everything. So whenever I have a question, I'm like, Nicole, will you help me figure this out in my head? Because my head is all over the place. So I love that you're super organized and you can do all of that because my blue head does not work that way. So um, so thank you, thank you, thank you for that. 
Um, I'm going to actually, we're going to maybe come back to you about the influencer app, but I want to make sure that we don't go over in time and I want to squeeze everybody in here. So next we're going to get Taylor on. So Taylor is going to come on. I'm so excited to have you on here tonight. Welcome Taylor. Hi guys. Um, so go ahead and introduce you, Taylor, and then we'll get started. Hi guys, my name is Taylor Grindstaff. I am a double diamond leader um, with the company I've been in for five and a half years. I've been stay at home full time for five now. Um, I, I mean, just so much has happened with this business, but that's basically like the short version. I don't know what all you want me to talk about though. No, no, that's fine. Um, so we're going to get right in because I don't want to waste time on just the fillers. I want to get all the way down into everything. So I know schedule is a big, big part of success. And so if you could share your kind of your daily schedule with everybody and the importance, wh why you think it's important to have it. Yes. So um, consistency and schedule is just so stinking important. Um, if I don't write down what I need to get done, I don't get anything done because you, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I heard that from Joel, I think once, um, or Cami or someone, but it's just, it's amazing. And it stuck with me. Like if you aren't planning your day out, then you're setting yourself up for failure from the beginning. Like you won't get anything done and life will happen to you instead of you being, um, proactive, you will be reactive. So with that being said, I plan out my day the night before, um, what I'm going to do the next day. Now I have the exact same things for the most part, like that I do each day and then like just day-to-day -day things that come up or I need to get done. Um, but there are specific things each day that I do get done and I write it down every single day because if I don't write it down, it doesn't it doesn't click for me. Some people, they can print out a page and just do check marks on it. I have to physically write it out or it just doesn't mentally do something for me. But for like my list each day, um, like I said, for the, the same things each day, I tell my friends happy birthday each day, whether that's posting on their wall or sending them a message, you figure out which way you prefer to do, find the best way. I post on people's wall. I know Tashina messages people. Um, some people do both, like whatever works for you. Um, it's also part of the algorithm helping with interactions and stuff. And then I interact on stories, um, Facebook and Instagram, not just doing the reaction. I actually message people on their story. Like I comment on them and that's so, so, so important. Um, it's just like going to people's posts and putting a genuine comment rather than just reacting, like doing a heart or a like or whatever. Um, so just making sure that you are taking the time to genuinely comment on their stories. It shows that they are active and you're actually intrigued on what they are, are posting about. Um, I do 10 hosts to post a day, or at least that's the goal each day. Sometimes I do more. Sometimes I may not get that many. If I don't get that many, I make up for it the next day. So making sure you at least get 10 each day, um, for the most part, that's, that's a good goal. Um, I do my reach out messages, like, just like Tashina talked about at the beginning, her reach out messages. She does several different ones. Um, I do 15 to 20 multiple times a day, set my timer for, um, a few minutes at a time, um, different times throughout the day and sending 15 messages, 20 messages at a time, going through my friends list, alphabetical order, um, doing the green light messaging, like she said, the people who are active on Facebook and then sending them messages. Um, and those those are good ways to, to reach people and far, as far as messaging goes. And then um, making sure that I do personal development and devotions. That's the very first thing I do every single morning, just like Tashina does. Um, if you wake up reacting to your phone, that's just how you're going to spend the day. Instead of being proactive and telling your time where to go, you're going to spend it reactive. So making sure you take that time for God and then also pouring into yourself because you can't pour from an empty cup. And I know that's why a lot of people feel like they're stuck or they're burnt out, they're not doing the personal development. And that's just, that's important. You have to fill your cup up because it, if you have your cup filled, it's just going to overflow into everyone else. So making sure you just fill your cup up always. And then um, another thing I do is I write out my goals each day. So 
I know when I don't do these because then I don't get the the results that I'm wanting. If I don't write, I am a mass enroller. I sign customers daily. I sign distributors daily. My team is on fire. We are like doing all of the things, like being very specific on what I want. If I don't write those down, then it doesn't happen. And I have found when I actually write those down each and every day, I say laser focused. I know what I'm working towards. I know what I'm speaking into existence that I'm asking God to put his hand to. And so that, that's just another small, it's, it takes no time to do, but it keeps you laser focused. So you know exactly what you are working towards each and every day, not just the beginning of the month, setting up the month. Oh, I want to be diamond, double, triple, whatever. I want to sign this many customers. And then forgetting about what you even set the goal for at the beginning of the month until the 25th hits. And then you're like, oh no, like I didn't get anything done. So making sure you are laser focused each and every day on what you want. Um, but those are kind of the, the things I do consistently every single day. And then like Tashina had said, um, also like power hours doing multiple times a day. Um, oh, also doing like an it works post adding to my network, um, showing I'm using products daily making my coffee. That's like my jam. I make my coffee every single morning on stories. Um, and then uh, adding to my network, like I said, and then planning the day the night before. So like tonight, I'll plan my day for tomorrow. Um, and then I'm talking about like power hours and stuff. I, I do my devotions and everything in the morning. Then we have our power hour from eight to nine. So I get my work done. Then I do my work when my daughter is taking a nap, like her hour nap. She only takes 30 minutes to an hour nap. So that's all I get. And then I do it after she goes to bed for an hour, maybe. Um, so that's basically all focused, intentional work. I'll reply to messages here and there throughout the day, but that's when I get my main work done. It's just three times a day. And if you have a full-time job, I had a full-time job when I got started and I literally worked on my hour lunch break and that was it. And I was able to retire after six months. So you tell your time where to go or your time's going to tell you. So you just have to be intentional with the time that you do have. Hopefully that answers everything. <laughs> I love that so, so much because I feel like so many people, especially when they're a little bit newer, they're like, holy cow, I'm spending all my time on my phone and I'm not getting anywhere. And I feel like you are so focused on the time that you're spending, not only on your phone, but also outside of your phone uh, with your family and with your daughter. And that is so, so important. And knowing that when you are working, you're working, you're not scrolling, you're not wasting time, you're doing income producing activities, which is so fantastic. And that's why you've been so successful. So thank you for sharing that because I do think so many people are like, I am now working for my phone, but I have no freedom. You set up your freedom, like you have to do that. So um, thanks for sharing that. I also, um, you are so wonderful at incorporating your business and your life. So when you go to your page, everyone knows about you. They know you have this sweet little girl. They know you love Disney. You know, they know you all the things and you love Chick-fil-A. Like I know all these things about you and I might not have ever know, like met you in person, right? And so, um, but people can get that and they can relate to you. So do you have some sort of system that you do to do business and life? Um, somewhat, I mean, it, honestly, it just, it's a day-to-day -day thing because I mean, most of my days are pretty consistent. I am, I like my schedule and I don't try to stray from it. I was just talking to Amanda about that earlier today. Um, like I, every single Monday we go pick up groceries and we go to Chick-fil-A. Like everybody knows that. I, I post about it every single Monday. <laughs> I go get my groceries and I get my Chick-fil-A. Um, and people like wait to see that. They're like, oh, what did you get for your groceries this week? For whatever reason, people love to know these things. It's just little things like that, incorporating it into your story. So it's not all it works stuff because people want value and content from your profile and your, your platform. Um, so if you're just trying to be salesy, it's like all it works stuff, they know nothing about you. Why are they going to follow you if all you're posting is about it works stuff? So try to... Um, figure out what you're about. Like, who are you? What defines you? What qualities do you have? What can you share with people? How can you inspire people? Um, how can you add value to their life? Not them 
adding value to yours necessarily. I mean, that's why you follow people, but then incorporating that it works stuff and what it's done for you and your life. Like for me, I lost 50 pounds on our products. It keeps me energized. It keeps me focused with having PCOS and just all of the things. And everybody who follows my platform knows that because I'm consistent about talking about that stuff, but then how I, how it's affected in my life as well, um, just day to day. And I know that doesn't necessarily answer your question, but just, it's a day-to-day thing, making sure you're posting about your life, what defines you, how can you add value to people's lives, not just it works stuff. Yes, that was perfect. Um, And then one more question I have for you is you are really great at focusing on boxes and volume. So you have your chart out. I'm assuming that you always have your chart out and you look at it every day, sometimes probably a few times a day. Um, I, I can relate, so I know that. And so when you are filling your chart and you're going for something, or even if you're not going for another rank, but you set daily goals, you set monthly goals, when you're filling your boxes on your chart, what, how do you do that? How do you break it down? Um, Let's say you have somebody that needs 200 in volume, like how do you break that down? And what is your timeline on that? Okay, so um, I'm gonna go a little bit bigger and talk about like, yes, boxes, but then also promotions. And if you've been in for at least a month, if you've not been in a month, we'll talk a little bit in a second, but if you've been in a month, you should have last month's chart. You should know what you lack for your next goal. So making sure you print out your chart every single month is so stinking important. That way you can write down what your final numbers are on the last day of the month or on the first day going back and looking at the actual final numbers. So then you can look back and say, oh, cause everything resets on the first. So you don't, everybody starts at zero. Um, until auto ships run on the 25th and then you see real numbers and that's why um, you shouldn't wait till the 25th to know what you lack Um, at least not for the ballpark range you go back on last month's chart and say oh well this person needed a thousand in volume to go ruby and then um, you take their chart and then you break it down well you have four weeks this month to get that going back from last month's chart that's like um, three to, I'm not good at math. So it's a thousand, that's five, 250, 250 a week that they need to go Ruby. And then you break it down. If you wanna do days, you can do days and then break it down per day on how much volume that they need each day. So, and then you break it down to customer. I know some people don't like to get that specific, but if you don't have specific goals, you never know where you're going to, like you don't know what what you lack. So you need to be at least as specific as you can, um, whether that be by day or by week, you hold yourself accountable to a goal per day or per week Like we did um, last month, like we needed to sign so many 70 BB customers each day to reach our goal, or you lack this much, how many customers you want to get, or this much BB each day. And if you don't hit it, you got to make it up the next day. (laughs) Um, That's why I like days instead of per week. So you know what you have to get every single day. And if you don't, you have to make up for it the next day. So like my goal is at least a customer each day. Um, if I don't get it, I got to make up and do two customers tomorrow. Um, so my thing is customers, but you can do BV as well. If you're looking at charts, like for promotions and stuff, I know generally how much BV I sign per customer. So that's why I do per customer. But if you don't have that down yet, then you need to know how much BV each customer needs to be. Um, and if you're new, you're going for that, your first six customers. So you need to know, Hey, I've got a month, 30 days to get six customers. Let's do it in a week. That's a customer like each day. Um, and if you're not that ambitious, which you should be like, you need to shoot high, you have to have high expectations. Um, if you, if you don't, that's a customer a week, basically, or two customers a week and get it done in, in three weeks, but you need to have goals and you need to know what you're shooting towards or how do you define, like, I mean, you can't define success. You want to be successful. You need to be specific in your goals and know and define what success is because success could be oh, I put up a post that's being successful or success could be, I earned my shopping spree by signing six customers. So that you got to just be specific in your goals, know what you lack, look at your chart, get with your leader. If you don't know how to chart, if you don't know what you lack, you don't even know what you're shooting for, get with your leader and talk to them and kind of figure out how you need to plan your week, your month, next few months, your year, whatever, and, and go for it. Yes. I love that. I love that you do daily. I do that too. 
Um, like I said, I have a spiral ring notebook and I write everything down. Um, and every morning I write my volume down. So I can go back, I go back every single day to the following month and I make sure that my volume is on point or higher, like you always want it higher than last month. And if it's not where I want it to be, I know that that day I have a bigger goal because I don't want to go backwards. You want to go keep going forward. So um, I love that you do that. I, I do that too. Um, yeah, so that is wonderful. Thank you so much, Taylor. You are amazing. Um, we have, we're going to close out with a little fireball. I've never met you in person yet, but I'm super excited. Hopefully I meet you in Austin. Um, so this is Tanya. She's brand new, basically, and she um, went diamond. So if you want to introduce yourself, Tanya, and then we'll go from there. Okay, hold on. Light camera, action. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Tanya Perez, and I'm so excited to be on here. Um, I actually, just before, I know it was actually Diamond in 56 days, but just, like, do not compare yourself. I was in It Works before. Um, I was in It Works five months prior than um, February, but I felt like, for some reason, 2020 was freaking crazy. I'm pretty sure we can all agree to that. So for me, I decided that maybe I should go somewhere else, try something else, and I did that. And I'm here to tell you guys that the grass is not greener on the other side. So we actually do have like the best, you know, comp plan and everything and all that stuff. So in case you're down yourself and asking, girl, you in the right place. So um, I did, you know, at wait. So I didn't bring any of the team that I had previous, okay, just in case any of you guys are wondering, because a lot of people are like, well, someone quits and they'll just have that team come over. No, everything was from scratch, brand new, um, and that's basically it, but if any questions, go ahead. Oh, hold on one second, Tanya. I'm gonna. Can you mute and then unmute? You have a little bit of an echo, and I'm not quite sure where it's coming from. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it still sounds a little echoey, but we'll we'll get through, we'll get through. We'll make it work. All right, so I have a couple yeah. questions for you. Um, so you've been in for not very long, and it seems like you had a mindset right when you joined that this you were just going to make this happen. So one, what gave you if that mindset? Like, what made you say, okay, I'm going to do this and I'm going to go all in? Because we all know we've signed distributors and they join and then it's like cricket. So what in your head made you say, I'm doing this and I'm not gonna take no for an answer and I'm just gonna go all in with it? Okay, so it kind of takes me back to, um, hopefully there's no echo, sorry if there is guys, but um, when I was in this company before, I was in it was almost six, six years. So I had went double, built my entire organization by myself. I had like over 300 people on my team. Um, and obviously thousands of customers. Um, my highest paycheck was probably, no, it was actually, it was like a little bit, a couple dollars short from 10, with my husband and my combined $10,000. So I left that, yeah, I'm a dummy. But um, I came back here knowing because this is, this is what I do for a living. This is what I want to do for a living. There is nothing, I'm not going back to no boss. I'm not gonna go have somebody tell me what to do because I tell me what to do. So um, when I was in that, company where I was just miserable because I was missing the light. Um, I feel like it works has that. It works has the light of personal growth, personal development, just wanting to grow and be better and do better and help others. When I was when I left, I didn't even want to do that. I was like, I'm gonna just hustle and do this. And I was miserable for five months. But um I came back knowing because I had told my, you know, my husband in January, the end of January this year, I said, you know what, dude, I think, I think I'm going to go back to Edwards. And you know what he said? And he didn't tell me nothing. He was like, I was going to say something, but um, I didn't want to say nothing. I was like, what the heck is wrong with you? So I definitely did come back like super hungry, but I will say this. Um, my first two weeks in February, so I guess you can say I promoted to Diamond like very quickly, very crazy. But um, I was very in my head because I was like, okay, I already left. 
and then everybody is watching me and I had built myself to like set I have three Instagrams at least all you know that but I have three Instagrams guys so I use my Facebook and I have um my original Instagram a second one and a third one because that's just how I am like I want to hustle I want to work this is what I want to do so um so yeah so I was, was like in my head a lot and telling myself like should I post? I don't know. Like, I was trying to be suspicious on Instagram. Like, oh, I'm trying something new. But it was, like, back with it works. You know what I mean? So I had a talk um, with Stephanie, and we already know how she is. And, you know, I freaking love her. And she kind of just opened my eyes. And just everything she would say, I took it as a sign. of like, I'm being a retard, so I need to get all my shit. So I did. Sorry, I cussed. <laughs> okay, so um, I need to get, you know, my ass in gear. So... I did that. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. Why did I get started? If I didn't really want to get started, then why am I here? So I just decided that I'm just going to post and just be consistent and just go for it. Whoever wants to follow me can follow me. Whoever wants to think, oh, this girl is like jumping ship and doing that, let them think whatever because I'm not here for that. Like I'm here to get my family like back where I was because I had left. Oh my God, I'm going to get emotional. Um, and did something that I wasn't supposed to do, but everything happens for a reason, so it is what it is. I absolutely love that. So you hustled because you cannot get to Diamond doing an hour a day. So what did you do? Like, what was your steps to, and how did you do it? Um, and I know you were super consistent, otherwise it wouldn't have happened. So if you can kind of go through what you did to make it happen. Okay, so maybe. Um, first of all, I, or we, we were like in a little chat that, um, so we were in a little chat and people were like saying like how close they were to, to Diamond, right? But in my mind, you just have to make the decision. Like you really have to ask yourself. I know people always say like, oh, make the decision, but you'll know if you made the decision. Cause I, where when I make that decision I don't know if you guys feel like this but I'm like a beast I'm like dude anything can happen any the enemy can throw whatever he wants like dude I'm gonna get this done like I don't care so um I just decided like okay I'm gonna go diamond I know I can do it I know what it takes I've been there before I've done this so much before like are you are the thing is you guys already know what to do but you guys just choose not to do it because you want to be like me my very first two weeks in your head so I feel like if you kind of just you know have that hard talk with yourself I don't know if you guys are crazy like me but I have hard conversations with myself out loud and my husband thinks I'm freaking lunatic and psycho but I don't give a damn because I know what I want so um you just have to have those hard conversations with yourself and say like why are you slacking girl like what, what are you doing like do you really want this you know why are you here you know why are you wasting your time if you don't like you have to ask yourself those questions i know it sounds crazy but i don't know maybe i'm just crazy i hope people ask themselves questions all the time because i know when um we're just like oh yeah back to that in this little group chat and everybody's saying like how close they are you know some people were like on monday saying they're you know two thousand away and then somebody said they were like a thousand away and here i am the last friday um of the month which is probably like we had four days left and i needed three thousand over three thousand in volume and it was just when you're going for a promotion this is something else you can't count i know we like to work as a team i know we love our team i know we want to think all these butterflies and rainbows about working together but i'm just gonna be real guys like for me if it's something like that like i'm gonna leave it to me like no one is going to you know i'm not gonna let you know, somebody else's 400 box or what they have to do or shopping spree or whatever, determine what I want for myself. So I feel like a lot of, um, what I've learned throughout the years is, you know, I'm just going to put my head down. I'm not going to even compare myself. I wasn't even in that chat. Like I had to mute it because you just have to put your blinders on. Like, and I don't do it to be rude or disrespectful or anything like that. But we, I don't know if you guys, you know, have been in the business for a while or not, but if you haven't, you'll kind of, take that as a tip, like, don't look left, don't look right, like, just figure out what you want, what you need to do to do it, and, um, I feel like God is the best person on your team, 
that's that's the, if you do the work i guarantee you i always have said if you do the work god's gonna come through it doesn't matter like if you do the work he's not gonna get you so close to me friday when i was like okay i need over three thousand in volume exactly like taylor said i freaking how many customers and i was pushing for 12 customers a day i was like okay 12 customers how much bb it has to be more like around 60 to 70 in bb and i wasn't depending on anybody doing it but myself and it's cool if people if your team does it that's fine but that's like the sharing on top you know what i mean like you don't want to wait for people to to do what you're supposed to do a lot of times people also fall into management mode what i've learned in six, like six years is you know they're like oh this person's not working this person's not that you don't have permission to ask yourself why they're not working if you're not working so for me i just know am i doing the work yes i am okay then i got nothing to say if, you, if i'm doing the work god's gonna come through and when you work like that, you're gonna attract the right people too. I feel like for me, um, I don't, I don't try to like push people to do that. I just want to inspire people to do it because my background, where I come from, we all have like you know our stories. So it's like if we can inspire people to do this, like why, why like push them and drag them and all that stuff? Like girl, you either want to do this with me or you don't, and it's fine with or without. We're still gonna get it done. It's better when we have them come with, you know. Because we can celebrate together and we can do all of that stuff, but you kind of—I like to just have that mentality because I know if I wait for others, like it's not going to happen, and I'm going to stay there stuck, you know, waiting for oh this person that said they were going to do this and this and this on this little box, but sometimes they don't, and it's totally fine. This is for you. This is for your promotion. Yes, thank you. That was amazing. Um, you have some scripts that have been obviously working well for you. So if you can share in the chat, the scripts, and then um, also, I don't know if you can share some of those nitty gritty tips as well. You had uh, messaged me and said, I have some really good tips I wanna share. So if you can share those tips while you're dropping those scripts, um, if you can multitask like that, sometimes I can and sometimes I can't, but <laughs> that would be fantastic. Yeah, um, okay, so, one of the scripts that I did, well, I feel like, I don't know. I don't like calling them scripts, guys, because for me, like, a script is salesy. Like, I just want to be myself. So what I do, a lot of you guys are going to trip out, but I don't do host to post. I wish I could learn. I heard some stuff on host to post today, so I'm definitely going to push myself to do that. But... Man, I just, I rather do the work, like, I, I, it's just something about me, I don't know, I message people, my views, my likes, um, all that stuff, so I'll tell you guys a little bit of what I say, but they're just basically the same stuff, I'm telling you guys, it's the same stuff that we all have, I just switch it up to myself, and on social media, I'm myself, like, I'll be, you know, talking a little bit of crap, because I'm that kind of person too, you know, just, like, be yourself, you know, I like to say, oh, like, I'm about to take this cleanse that everybody says doesn't work, but I'm about to lose five pounds in two days. Just be yourself and be funny. Um, this one, I actually got it from Taylor, but I super switched it up. If I can find it. But it's um, about being like a 90-day challenge. Challenger, where is it? Yeah, so so she shared this on a morning. She's from California, guys, and our morning Zooms are at 8 a.m. And she had gotten back from California and she was getting bugged to come on. And I was like, okay, it's 5 a.m. where she's at, but she did it. You guys, she's so eager to make this happen and make it work. And so she got on there and she shared. And so I, this might be some of the ones that I stole from you too. And it's amazing. So, yeah. So um, I have switched it up. It's basically just like, um, hey, love, hope you're having a blessing. Not sure if you've seen what I do. Checking to see if you're interested in trying out some products uh, with my discount, becoming a 90-day product tester. I'm excited to share these products with you. Are you open-minded to it? And then that's it. Um, I just like to message people. I like people like they said it's kind of like cold message, but for me, it's exactly how she said it. it's not cold message. Like. Because if there, I've, I've had people follow me, and that's totally fine, because I'm just going to follow more people. Um, so I definitely 
just send that to people, kind of like the ABC method. Um, if anybody is on Facebook, I'll send it to them. You know, on my views, on my views is a little more different depending on like what exactly I have on like my story. So like, let's say I have TFX um, and coffee or something like that. Then I'll say like, hey girl, thanks for viewing my story. Like, would you happen to be interested? And I have signed so many people just by being short and simple. Um, my potential distributor message that I have is the one that um, I have told Stephanie that I'm about it. It's, um, hold on. So it's, hey girl, hey, hope you're having a blessed day. Checking to see if you're um, interested in making extra income. So totally flexible, one to two hours a day online. Let me know if you're open-minded. Um, I just make up these small little messages that sound like me. So when people open it and they see how I'm talking on, on my stories, and then they see how I'm writing them, they're like, okay, yeah, that's her. And it's not like spammy or hack. You know, sometimes when people, you know, when you get one of those messages, it's like spammy and it's scriptish. So that's why I don't like to say like script. Um, just make something up that sounds exactly like you and that you feel like sounds good and not salesy. Like that for me is super, super big. But for me, I like to get to the point too. So um, that's it for the scripts. Perfect. And then, I love that. So we have a question. Um, how do you get people interested when you don't have anything in hand or haven't tried or showed any of the products yet. So for new people who haven't, I know this is like, oh, what do I do? And you wanna jump all in. What I suggest, and then we can ask um, anybody else too, you too, Tanya, cause you're the newest one on here um, as far as speaking goes. But for me, um, when I first joined, I was so excited and I knew what this was gonna do for me. So when I, when I bought my kit, I didn't just buy it to buy it. I bought it because I seen a future. And so you need to be so excited about what this is going to do for you, that that's what you're selling. You're, you're selling your excitement. You're selling what um, results you want with the products, because even though you haven't tried them yet, you believe that they're going to work and they're um, going to make you feel that the best that you can feel. So um, that is what I suggest. I do not suggest waiting. I feel like if you wait, then you kind of put this on the back burner and you kind of forget that you even are part of a business. Um, I also super suggest, just like you are tonight, is getting on the Zoom and you are part of a culture now that is unheard of. And so you keep getting involved, showing up, getting on the Sunday night calls, going to events, um, surrounding yourself with like-minded people, and you enveloping yourself in this culture will keep you in the how, and it'll keep you excited. Um, so that's, that's what I have to say. I think Nicole, she has um, a suggestion too, so I'm going to yeah, if you're nervous or you feel like you're not being super authentic by promoting a product that you haven't tried, I like, this is what helped me. I realized one day I absolutely hate onions. Like they will ruin, one onion will ruin a meal for me. Okay. But if I open a restaurant, you know, I'm going to have onions on the menu and we're going to have the biggest, best blooming onion in town. And you better believe I'm going to put a big picture of it right on the menu. I'm going to advertise it. So just because I don't like it doesn't mean the rest of the world doesn't like it. And I'm not saying you don't like the products, but just because you haven't tried them doesn't mean other people haven't tried them. And we have thousands of great corporate compliant approved before and after photos that you can share. So even if you're using the products and you'll share your own results eventually, you're still going to share other people's results as well. So don't let that stop you or hold you back because you have access to so many great resources that are going to do that work for you in a really authentic way. I'm not saying tell everyone, oh, just ordered it if you didn't, or yep, tried it yesterday if you didn't. I'm not saying lie to people, but you can tell them, oh, that's next on my list. I can't wait. I love that it de -bloats if you're talking about the cleanse or what, you know what I mean? Like you can still have a real conversation with people and not, you just have to choose how you're going to approach it, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Tanya, I know you don't like scripts, but I do have some people asking if you wouldn't mind sharing your uh, sample of your opportunity post and your um, your product tester one. So if you wouldn't mind, if you can drop that in the chat, that would be fantastic. Um, 
Taylor, did you have any last minute words that you want to share? Um, I, I don't know, like last minute words, but I will touch a little bit on that last question um, since we have just a, another minute or two. Um, it's just like when you join the business, you have a goal in mind. I mean, you need to be a product of the product regardless of it, how much money you want to make in this business. It's very hard to get far in this business if you're not using any products. You may have just gotten started and not able not earned your shopping spear or anything yet, but you know, like kind of what products you have your eye on that you want to try, start speaking that into existence. I can't wait to get my hands on this product. I'm going to have this, like, I'm, gonna, I'm so excited for these results, like telling what you're going to achieve with these products. And then going back and sharing, like Nicole said, we have so many corporate approved before and after pictures you can share with people, drop them in the comments of your post saying, I, okay. So for example, say you want to try the gummies. I'm so excited to get my hands on these inch loss slimming gummies. They're going to be absolutely amazing for uh, inch loss in my love handles, lowering my BMI. I'm just so, so stinking excited people see that excitement. They're like, oh, well, what's this about? I, I want to get in on this. And then like maybe tomorrow post about, oh my goodness, these girls just got their gummies. Look at their before and after pictures and then put it in the comments of that post. See, like you're posting about these products and you're su still super still excited. You know what you want to accomplish with the products, but you don't have them yet. So you, that's my just take on it um, because there are a lot of people who haven't who joined the business never have tried a product. I, I was that person, never tried a product, never heard of the company or anything, and I joined. And I still was super excited about joining and getting results with hair, skin, and nails. Um, and I talked about it all the time. So that would be just a, a tip I have on that. Um, and then just stay consistent. Like that's my thing. I, I mean, I talked about consistency, but doing the work, even when you don't feel like it, because if you do the work when you feel like it, you may work two or three days a year or two or three days a month because nobody feels like working. You're going to lose that motivation and that, that drive because that's just what happens. But you put in the work even when you don't feel like it. You stay consistent even when you have those hard days because the, the um, what's the word I'm looking for? The abundance, the, the can't think of the word, but the results are coming. Like your uh, crops are going to grow. You're going to be able to harvest them. The harvest is coming. That's what I'm looking for. The harvest is coming and it's going to be plentiful if you stay consistent and put in the work each and every day. So I'll leave you with that. Yes. Awesome. Yep. Nicole just reminded, hopefully you guys all have the boards app. Um, that is fantastic. That's super helpful for um, helping respond and knowing about products, especially for newbies who might not know about each and every product and what they do. Um, there is a link in the legendary page. So if you go up into the search bar and you just type boards, you'll be able to find that link and you'll be able to get access to that. So um, highly, highly recommend doing that. Um, thank you guys so much for being on and joining us on this Monday. Um, I pray that you guys have just the most blessed week ever. And we're coming into the middle of the month and write your goals down tonight on what you want to achieve by the end of the month or by the, even by the end of the week. And, and I know we can make it happen putting our blinders on. So thank you guys so much. Thank you, Taylor, Nicole, and Tanya for sharing. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, and I will see you, if not tomorrow morning, next Monday. Bye-bye, guys.